or anyone's fault, but too many easy goals and you can't give those up. And second, can't chase the game. Again, getting down twice with two goal deficits, you're not gonna be able to come back again tonight. It's against the odds, so they can't. He walks in, save made. Picks it up again. Pierce out in front. Posh makes the save. The rebound turned aside as well. Four really good saves in this sequence for Isaac Posh. From behind, the takeaway for St. Cloud. Ports has Molinar in front, and another great save from Thiessen. His second robbery of Joel Molinar in the opening minutes. Zone, 11 and a half minutes to go. Just as we say, it's more of a chess match. Maybe the game breaks open a bit for St. Cloud State. They've had two or three good looks in the last 90 seconds or so. Goats to the far side, Bast. Down low. Low height to Goats. He fires, he scores! Darian Goats. And the official waving it off. It may have caught a high stick on the way through. They'll take a look at it. McMenamin celebrates for UMD as we await the video review. The shot came from Goats. It hit McMenamin on the way by. And we'll check the replay. He crisscrosses with Pierce, hands off. Long shot, that was blocked by Hall. Comes back to the point, low height, holds McMenamin. For Olsen, he walks into the circle, across for Gallatin, a shot, he scores! Owen oh, Gallatin, his second of the weekend, it's 2-0 UMD. Out of this period, with a 1-0 lead, they have a great shift where they take advantage of a couple of sloppy turnovers by St. Cloud in their own zone, and UMD hangs onto that puck. What I love about this shift is they don't... Circle, block shot, that was Pierce. Held at the line by Anhorn. Centering pass, Kupka redirected through the crease. Comes back to Anhorn at the line. St. Cloud State captain. Out in front of shot, they score. Tyson Gross from the bumper spot for St. Cloud State. His second of the weekend, it's two to one. Well, nicely executed. They did the same thing yesterday, but from the other side, where it was Gross to Kepka, this time, it's reverse as it's gross with the one-timer on the other side. He's a ball swing there by Werner Mietnin as Steves might have been in. Now it's Vidi in the circle. Centering pass, they score! Zach Akabe, two quick goals for St. Cloud State. We're tied, it's two to two. They're gonna get caught, Zach. And they get caught here. It was a great little baseball play there to knock that puck down on the neutral zone. Maybe bad luck, but you can't get caught in a two on one. Back now in the corner, 45 seconds to go in the power play. Pionk, he walks in. Again, trying to find a tip in front and can't. Comes to Steves. Everything to the outside now for UMD. A shot, they score! Aiden Dubinsky! Right on cue, a power play goal, and the Bulldogs back on top. It's three to two. Well, pretty simple there. <laughs> they just move it over to Dubinsky, and he just quickly fires this one-timer. Not a real heavy shot. He goes back the other direction with it. Maybe a case. ...by UMD, held at the line by Mietnin. Shot towards the front, save made. The rebound, cleared by UMD, and Luke Lohite caps his career here at Amsoil Arena with an empty net goal. The Bulldogs are going to win it. They're going to sweep. And the shift gets the empty net goal. You see just a mad scramble in front of that net as St. Cloud State had the puck for about a minute 30.